guys, welcome back to the sawmill. It is a windy day here. Not a lot of dialogue probably in this video. We got some storms coming through in about three hours. It's three o'clock. It says about six o'clock according to the weather. It's supposed to get a lot of rain coming through here. So I'm trying to get this one pine finished and maybe the second one and get it stacked in the kiln before the rain comes. So this is on the sawmill right now. This is from the last video out here last night. That's the white pine that we was working on. We sawing this into five quarter boards using the drag bat feature on the sawmill. And this should go pretty fast. I cannot look at that enough. I was commenting in the last video how smooth the cuts were on this pine. That, that's really nice right there. Hope today we will continue on that same path get some really nice boards out of this timber. So I had a few questions on the last video about the blade I was using. And I think a few of you guys assumed it was a 747. This was actually the seven degree blade, just a regular seven degree wood miser, double hard blade. And the thickness is 045. Before I fire up the Yanmar, start warming up the diesel. Although today it doesn't need much of that. It's in the seventies. It's like summertime out here. But uh, regardless, I want to say thank you to the people on Patreon for your support. I really appreciate you guys. I want to say thank you to the subscribers who are watching these videos. And if you're new to the channel, I don't know what took you so long. It's a pretty good channel we got going here. We saw up all kinds of stuff. But anyways, I'm now going to take a moment to ask you people to hit the like button down at the bottom of the screen. And after you do that, we'll turn the diesel on and start sawing. Appreciate it. Friends, I stopped sawing here for just a second. I want to take a look at these boards and make sure we're sawing true. I always want to do that when you're sawing. I see some guys and uh, man, they'll saw three or four logs. They'll have an off bear and they won't check one of the boards as they come off. I'm a firm believer in quality control. Every few boards, you need to check them either by hand or something and make sure you're sawing nice and flat. You know, there's no sense in not doing it. It just takes a second. Let's knock some dust off this one and see how it looks. I'm hoping it looks just as good as the ones did yesterday. Look at that. Look at that, guys. A little, little bump right there around that knot, but sometimes you cannot get around that. These knots are hard. And there's no way sometimes not to get a little bump right there, a little tear out on the side of that knot, but that's not too bad. I can live with that. That will come out whenever we run this through a planer. Look at that pretty white pine right there. Very nice stuff here, guys. Man, that's pretty right there. And as far as the use of this timber, once I run it through the kiln, I'll probably stack it in the shop out of the way. And on rainy days, I'll be working on these. I'm gonna be making shop cabinets out of these right here for the new barn. These will look really nice in there.
All right, friends, check this one out. This might be the best board out of that whole log. Very limited notch right here on the far end. Got some really nice quarter sawn grain on the sides. Check that out right there. Even though it's pine, it's still going to be extremely stable. Very nice stuff. Down here toward the bottom, another cluster of knots, but not too awful bad. And on the very end, got a large knot right there. But check out the grain on the sides. Look at that. I tell you guys, this sawmill is just really producing some nice boards right now. Check out the finish on this pine. Five quarter, 13 inches wide. Very limited knots, and it looks like it's ran through a planer. Look how smooth. Fantastic day of sawing here at the mill, guys. Even though we got a terrible storm moving in, it's been a great day to saw up some lumber. Even though it's pine, I'm starting to like pine, actually. It's starting to grow on me. Well, it started raining. I thought it was going to hold off till 5 or 6 o'clock. It's just 4.30. It's already started. So I was going to put a little glitch in my game plan here. I'll probably have to cut these cameras off. I don't want to get them wet and get the kiln loaded up. But before we go, two things. First thing is, I get tons of questions here about these suspenders I wear. I'll leave a link down below to the guy that sells those. They come from Oregon. It's called the Better Suspender Company, I think. They're about 35 or 40 bucks a piece. Really good suspenders. I got four pairs of them. I'll leave a link down below to that guy's website. You can go check those out. The second thing is, for those of you that live close to the Wood Miser down in uh, North Carolina, it's actually just outside of Charlotte. They have a new location. I've not even been to that new building yet. They're having an open house on February the 1st at 8 a.m. until who knows how long, probably until people start leaving. But I plan on going down there for that day. It's going to be on a Saturday, first Saturday of February. So anybody that lives close to the Wood Miser in Charlotte, come on by and check out some really nice sawmills. Joe should have all his nice meals lined up out there, and they'll be running them. It won't just be an event where you come by and look at sawmills. He'll have his guys out there sawing lumber. So if you live close to the Wood Miser in North Carolina, you can Google that location if you don't know where it's at. You can, uh, I'm sure the address will pull right up. Or you can go to woodmiser.com and look at the different locations they got in the south. That one will come up. Joe's the uh, owner over there, a real good guy. He actually sold me my first sawmill back in 2011. But it's already January the 11th, so make plans February the 1st on that Saturday at 8 a.m. Come on by and say hello and check out some nice saw mills and watch some guys saw lumber all day. I look forward to actually being able to hang out and watch somebody else saw for a change. So we'll be there till about 12 or 1 o'clock probably. Just depends on how many people show up. As long as people are coming in, I'll hang around. So come by and say hello. That's February the 1st, Wood Miser in North Carolina. So the rain has stopped. So maybe I'll get this lumber loaded in the kiln before it starts raining. I usually bring my tractor back here to pick up the lumber, but it's so wet because of all this rain. If I drive the tractor through here, it's just going to make a mess. You can see the ground. It's still pretty soft right here beside the sawmill building where I drive through here on the Mahindra. And that Mahindra weighs about, gosh, almost 9,000 pounds. So it really puts a damper on the soil. And if it's wet, it just sinks and makes a mud hole. So we'll just pull the truck back here and load it up and bring it around to the camp. Hi guys, actually having a decently productive day today. Kind of had a late start. Bruno had a basketball game this morning. And uh, the last video I just put out, I had to put that out after that was over with. So that knocked me back to about two o'clock before I got up to the mill. Not too bad. And the rain is holding off maybe for at least another hour or two. We'll see. That stack of ash timber has got to go. I have had to drive around that stuff about a hundred times. Come next week, we are putting that on the sawmill and sawing that into boards. I'm tired of going around it. I'm end up busting a tire on it before it's over. 